make a mess. <laughs> no, this you're going to be messy you're... real soon. I could do this for so long and it would not be interesting at all. So. <laughs> So today I'm meeting with Mary. She is the formulator for my new line of No Beauty products. Today we are going to be putting the finishing touches on our clay mask. Clay masks are something that I've used for years. Uh, I've had acne throughout my life and it's always something that I've fallen back on. But I've never found a clay mask that I've just really relied on. I feel like I've gone through so many and have never found the one. So today we're gonna be putting the finishing touches on our clay mask. And I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. This is my formulator, Mary. Oh my God, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. She's so amazing, we had to get her flew out. Um, and I'm so excited to show you guys what we've been working on and to review key ingredients and just to like know more about clay masks. So can you tell me what makes a good clay mask? The clay. The clay. Yeah, like legitimately. Start just, with the clay. Yeah, you start with the clay. <laughs> that is the most important thing about a clay mask. Uh -huh. um, I know it seems simple, but that's it. The ingredients are everything. It's really important to have really good ingredients. Yeah, so starting with the clay, mm -hmm. um, we also need to have like active ingredients yes. that help, like, because the clay is going to kind of strip down the oils from your skin. I need that because I'm an oily broad. <laughs> but the um, active ingredients will help like add moisture back in and really just kind of give you that glow mm. that we're looking for. Everybody wants to glow, oh don't Oh my God, we? yes. <laughs> <laughs> so since we are talking about clay masks, we need to talk about the most important thing, which is the ingredients. Yes. We already talked about the most important ingredient is the clay. We have different clays here that we'll come back and talk about. Secondly, we're gonna talk about the active ingredients. Mm -hmm. So the active ingredients will come back and they'll bring moisture to your face. They'll help with your dark spots. And mm -hmm. um, they're active. Yeah, they're gonna do something. They are. And then lastly, and probably most fun, we're gonna go to the botanicals. These are natural botanicals that smell delicious. Mm. They're gonna smell like flowers. They're gonna smell like berries. They're gonna smell like cucumbers. It's nature's gifts. It's nature's gift to, to, the us. to us. The world. To you. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> to our clay mask. Okay, so clay mask. You gotta start with the most important part, the clay. Mm -hmm. um, first, we have the white kaolin clay. In every clay mask, it's what will really kind of like dry down and like draw out the impurities. Love that. I feel like that's such an important thing that I'm always looking for. Secondly, we have the bentonite clay, which kind of gives the mask structure um, and gives it a really nice texture so that you can just paint it on. It feels luxurious. Yes. Yep. It's not cakey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. And it also pours out and pulls out impurities. Sure, yes, it does. And then the thing that I'm most excited for, our mask, is the Glacial Bay Clay. This comes from an active glacier. Um, it's sustainably sourced. Can you talk a little bit more about this Glacial Bay Clay? Yeah, it comes from British Columbia. Um, you know, one of the things that was really important to us is that to make sure it was sustainably sourced yeah. um, from the active glacier. We picked it out special for No Beauty because the properties are just amazing. Mm. Um, it has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it mm. because it's from an active glacier. We love it. Relying on Mother Nature to do the job for us. That's our beautiful trio. And then we have an array of colors here, which is really fun, really exciting. I'm kind of like on the fence with a color because mm -hmm. I really do love relying on Mother Nature, yep. even though they are all natural colors. Yes. Um, like. As far as colors go, I do like this purple. Mm -hmm. I feel like purple was my favorite color growing up. Yeah. And I kind of always had associated it with like royalty. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. trying to make y'all kings and queens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I also really like just kind of like the natural color that these clays mixed together gives us. Yeah. I think, you know, from, from our perspective, like, you know, all of these are natural. They come from the earth, like as is. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. It's like up to you. It's like whatever <laughs> makes you feel the best when you're putting it on your skin. Cause that's what all this is about too. 
So our glacial bay clay really sets our mask, our clay mask apart. But another thing that is going to do that as well are our active ingredients. While we do want our clay to draw out the impurities, we also want active ingredients to penetrate the skin and our pores. Perfect. So the first thing that we have is our licorice extract, which brightens the skin. Um, it gently reduces dark spots, which is also always really important, mm -hmm. especially as someone who picks her face. I got spots for days, babe. <laughs> or a sun lover. Yeah, which is also me. Yeah. It was the perfect. <laughs> combination of the two. So this is really important for me. Um, the second thing is the giant sea kelp. You know, you gotta have a bit of land and sea. Um, giant sea kelp is really amazing at smoothing the skin, reducing toxins, and it's also really hydrating, correct? Yeah, it is. Our third thing is the Tanaka extract, um, which has cooling properties. It's really calming for the skin, and it's something that has been used for, for centuries. centuries. Mm -hmm. You gotta like look at the past and see what's worked and yeah. draw it all in. Exactly. And our last thing, the thing that I'm most excited about, I think, is our exclusive proprietary blend. There's um, a little bit of lactic acid in there, which is something that I swear by. Using lactic acid has actually changed my skin. I think that it just really sheds dead skin. And I always have makeup being put on, so there's always like a lot of buildup, and that just reduces that. Um, it also reduces dark spots. Once again, very important. So these things all together create a really active mask which is important. You want to know that it's doing something for your skin. We're going to look through our natural botanical extracts. Yes. These are all natural. Mm -hmm. They're going to smell like things from the earth. Mother nature at her finest. Okay, my first one that I'm going to try is the aromatic white tea and apricot, apricot. apricot. I say apricot, but you know. Potato, potato. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think about that one? It's nice. It's like, it, I mean, it smells really natural. It's not like too overpowering with the apricot apricot um, because of the white tea. So it still feels like really natural and organic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hibiscus and mint. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love hibiscus. Yeah. Flowers. I, I just about mint. had some in my hair the other day. Oh, wow. Mint. I mean, I love mojito. Right? <laughs> Ah, it's nice. It's really nice. There's something about it that I feel like would play really nicely with the cooling aspect mm. of the mask. Rose. See, like, are you a rose lover? I am. I thought you might be. I, I feel like a lot of people think of rose and they think that it, like, veers grandma. Like grandma. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. But, like, it's beautiful. Who doesn't yes. love a rose? I know. And done right, like, there's, like, a nice, elegant, yeah. like, modern rose. Yeah, I thought you might. It's Literally. just romantic mm -hmm. and like feminine. Yeah. Okay, next, jasmine, apricot, and sandalwood. Mm -hmm. I love jasmine. I always carry jasmine essential oils on me. Oh my god, you don't know that. Mm -hmm. It's uh -oh. like confusing. To I'm me. worried that one's gonna get slapped away. Yeah. I'm worried about it. She's worried. I don't know. I'm not mad at it. It's All just right. like, I think the combination of the three things together isn't much. something that I would put together mm -hmm, mm -hmm. myself. It's fair. Cucumber and fresh mint. Okay, I don't want to like... spoiler alert you, but this is oh. it's my favorite one. It's fresh. It's mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel overpowering. Feels like you're at the spa. Again, like with the cooling mm -hmm, elements, mm -hmm. I feel like that's a really nice fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I really like, I really do like the cucumber and fresh mint. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like that's really classic. Mm -hmm. I feel like I do want something added in there as well though, to like give it, give it like that signature scent. Because I feel like cucumber and mint is like a very classic standard spa scent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it that would be sense. nice to add something that would make it like unique. Mm -hmm. Like so that you smell it and you know 
that this is no beauty's clay mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a really good point. Yeah. Can you sniff? <laughs> I know at a time. So I'm just take a break. I'm like, yeah, whew, let's go straight to the dome. <laughs> Will she give up the rose, you guys? I think Ooh. I'm giving it up. <gasps> dun dun dun. Okay. I love. Right. I do love rose. Okay. Oh, she's, she's doing getting the trick. Wild. She's she's getting wild. She's wild, crazy girl. <laughs> <laughs> So hard. <laughs> it's really hard because they all smell amazing. They really do. And they're all natural, which is very important to me. It's kind of like um, The Bachelor. I think I really narrow it down. I haven't seen it, any of any season yet. I'm very excited. I'm waiting to meet up with my man so we can watch it together. That's right. That's right. I know. I know. I know. Trying to be different. But I know like, the cucumber mint. Like you just can't argue with it. Not we are now argue. down to cucumber and mint, and hibiscus and mint. I like them both. Have you tried them together? Did you do the sniff together? Oh! <gasps> oh my God! It like balances that bottom. Like it, cause like the cucumber mint's up here. It balances the bottom down here. That hibiscus mint. Wow. Oh my God. That is amazing. <laughs> you are, you didn't even know, you're a perf perfumer. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> that really is amazing. I really do love it. Wow. Oh my God, you're giving your final wishes two. Yeah. Yeah. She said, I can't choose one. I need, <laughs> I need them both. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Okay, dope. Okay, so we'll use both. This was so much fun. Oh, yes, it was. Thank you so much for coming down here, mm -hmm. for bringing all these things. I'm so excited for you to go back and put it all together. I feel like I really do love this cucumber and mint and hibiscus and mint. Yep. But like, maybe let's try a variation with jasmine. Oh, yes. Because yes. like I said, I love jasmine. <laughs> um, but this is so exciting. I think that we're gonna, I know, we're gonna make something really special. Yeah, I can't wait to go back with all the materials and just put them together and send you send you the next version. See what you think. When? Pretty soon. Very soon. Yeah, pretty soon. We a love week. soon. A week or so. Ah, amazing. Uh, I know, magic. Thank you. All right, you're so welcome. I can't wait to see you again. Yeah, me too. All Thank right. You. Bye. Yay. <laughs>